Hello, YouTube. Uh, this is a look that I copied back, well, copycatted off of uh, Lil Pumpkin Pie 05. Uh, she did a look called Copper Sparkle. So I wanted to try it. I really like it. I don't have a lot of the products that she has, but I decided to try it anyway. I have the Coastal Scents palette, um, the 88 Warm palette, I use that, and in that palette, uh, she had a very gold color, like a copper penny almost like the shiniest copper penny and I had this color here also for the outline here she used a dark reddish brown almost like a burgundy color. That's what color it looked like to me that she used. Uh, the closest thing I had to it was this. And this one. Oh, oh, sorry. And this one. I blended those two together for the outside edges of the eye and worked them inward. Also, for her highlight, she actually said that she was using a, a concealer. I have a concealer from Fashion Fair. I don't know if you can see that pretty well. I use the lightest color in there on my brow bone. And then I took... A color from the Coastal Sense Metal Mania palette. Uh, let's see what color it was. Like a very light gold here. And accented my eye at the top. With that, I also used, she used a very, like I said, a very, very bright bronze, copperish looking color, like a penny. The closest color I could find in the Coastal Sense palette to me was this. It's kind of an old gold. I used that and I packed it on, packed it on. She's lighter than me, so uh, I think it came out pretty good. Um, it blended pretty well. I will definitely try to get the products that she used because I, I really liked how uh, vibrant the colors came out. I also used, uh, let me see, it's about three colors to the side. This color here in the corners of my eyes. Now, that's something that I don't believe she did. I used that in the corners of my eyes. She also used a, like, an aqua type color in her waterline. Well, below the waterline, right on the lash. I didn't have, like, an aqua color, but I did have a blue um, what is this? A blue eyeliner from Milani. I don't know if you can pick that up. And, uh, I use that on my lash line. I don't know if you can see it too well. And because I couldn't see it too well. I decided to use something I had in my bag for a very long time. 
this product is from Bobby Brown. It's called Sapphire Tin. It's called Shimmer Wash Eyeshadow. And that's what it looks like inside. And I went over the blue with that. With my, let me see which one of those, my angle brush. I went over it with that. Then, it was a very quick look, very easy to do, but it honestly it used a lot of colors. Uh, and I was trying to blend as many of these colors as I could. And I was just afraid that if I tried to do a tutorial with just one eye done, I would possibly mess it up really, really bad. So, just bear with me here. I always use this uh, Falsies Maybelline on my real eyelashes. And then I add it on. Uh, where is it? Mod Lash. Uh, number 26 in black. I really like these lashes. It's my first time. Well, actually, it's my second time putting on lashes. I put on some yesterday. So if you see a little mistake, you know, on the other side here, take all mistakes for love because I'm, I'm learning. I'll get it down sooner or later. And, um, of course, I use the Kiss New York 24-hour eyeliner. I like it because it's not like a brush, it's more like a like a felt pen. I feel like I have a better grip on it. Also, underneath her um her waterline, she used like a peach color, she said, because she enjoyed um making the eye look brighter maybe it brings the white of the eye out i didn't have a color like that so i used my yellow nyx pencil my yellow nyx pencil and went in there that didn't look too good so i went over it with my dark brown nyx pencil And to kind of cover up the mistake I made. I don't know if you can see it too well. Uh, let me see here. For my face, I'm using uh, Satin Finish Zorin. Just something I picked up at the local Walgreens or CVS. I can't remember which. And... Let's see here. What else? I did do the Coastal Sense blush. Just um, like a peachy type blush I found. And dark brown liner on my lips. Actually, I used the NYX pencil. Dark brown liner on my lips. And Kiss makes this lipstick. I love it. It's, like, uh, it's called Coral. But on me, it looks very nude. It's a very, like, pale, pale color. I don't know if you can see it too well. And I use that on the inside of my lip. And then uh, I use J2 Brush On Lip Glass. Um, it doesn't really say a color here. But you can see it's kind of a... I think this camera makes it look too orangey or too bright, but honestly, it kind of looks coral, like the colors. It kind of uh, has that copper flex in it, like the eyes. So, um, on my skin tone, I don't think it really shows up too much on the lips. It kind of just looks like a nice little gloss on the lips. Um, but it smells very, very good. It smells good. 
in. Uh, let me back out a little bit so you can see. I put on uh, these earrings because I thought they were so festive. Uh, let me see. And I'm wearing a half wig. Uh, sensational uh, Insta Weave half wig. Uh, this is HZ7059. And it's in uh, 1B30. And I love this wig. It matches my hair pretty well. Uh, this, the tips of my hair are like a brown color. And the, the wig has like a brown in it. And sometimes I part my hair and wear it down like that. But since my hair is kind of natural, I've been following Miss Kime uh, online and uh, well on YouTube here. And she's kind of put me in the direction of going natural. So I'm looking into that. Uh, I haven't had a perm in about six weeks, so that's not saying much. I might change my mind. I don't know. If it gets a little nappy, that's it for me. But um, I'm going to try to hold on to uh, that naturalness because my daughter has such beautiful hair. And I thought about it, and I said, she has such a beautiful natural curl. And I said, if I go natural, then... Maybe she won't feel the need to go straight, you know, like with the uh, perm and things like that. I mean, her hair is like, it gets wet. It gets very curly and pretty. She has hair like her father. And um, I just never want her to look at my hair and envy that. I want her to embrace her own lovely locks because they, she's very pretty. She's a pretty little girl. And I'm not saying that just because she's my two-year-old. But she's beautiful. And that's about it. Um, I guess I'm going to put some pictures at the end of this video so you can see. Um, again, I said um, the, the lashes, I don't think they're perfect. I can't really see the top. I guess I'll see them when I look at the pictures I'm taking right now. And hopefully you enjoy the look and um i'll see you next time with a video where i actually talk through what i'm doing instead of just showing you the products that i use and uh, i'll talk to you later take it easy everybody be blessed bye